Hello everybody and welcome back to I almost said you're to the die. Ayakashi Akashi. Let's begin again, shall we? Like a brand new person. As I thought, the students all seemed to believe this event was a dream. The death of a classmate, the reversal of time. True, they both sound like dreams. So, so, what all, what all have you ascertained from us? What have you ascertained from all of us? She's had the same mass dream after all. Something like that, right? No, no, I'm certain this is... The work of an Ayakashi. Ayakashi? How occult. Uh, hold on now. You can't just throw that word casually and expect us to understand. For now, just listen to me. Let me ask you all. What do you think happens to people when they die? Um, who would know without dying first? You go to the... You go to the good... You go to the good place. Ah, oh, heaven, right? There exists the world of gods, the world of spirits, the world of the dead, the physical world, and hell. We exist in the physical what? Oh, there are many theories about the afterlife, but people generally believe that the soul leaves the body, and that soul goes to some other world. To put it simply, that world and this world can be thought of as opposing shores. You guys must be pretty serious to be thinking about the afterlife while you're still living. Death is a once in a lifetime event, after all. Looking to know things that are hard to know might just be human nature. However, there are exceptional cause causes, cases where souls, or souls can't reach the other shore. So, it's not as if you go there immediately once you die? Souls with strong feelings towards this world will stubbornly refuse to cross over. Ah, like Jabukure? The earthbound spirits? If only the wandering soul, if only the soul wanders the world of living, then that's what it is, yes. But on rare occasion, it may cling to its body and become a living corpse. Sounds like what you call a zombie. You're not necessarily wrong. And this shit is taking too long to load. You're like a brand new person. Guys, this takes fucking forever. Uh, hello? Uh, hello, Mr. Yoinara? What's happening in your head there? Simply put, since their body is dead, it won't mature anymore. To break it down into even simpler terms, they're ghosts that anyone can see. But if the process is quick enough, couldn't it be treated like a miraculous revival? Wouldn't it be possible for them to just return to living as normal then? To jump ahead a bit, yes it would. And more troublesome yet, souls that dwell here too long begin to grow mad and, lo and lose control of yourself. And the rule of the desire to remain this world lies in attachment to life. When a soul lo loses control, that attachment grows stronger and it attacks the living. Why? So it becomes even more out of control? Right. That's why people like us send them to the other side. We call the deceased to sheep to share the battling of the living, Ayakashi. We are their senders, so we call ourselves. I have heard the term. Something about a lineage of diviners forming a succession. I haven't, but... You're not a teacher, Teach? Well, I wasn't always said to be a successor. 
Then my older sister died. I inherited the duty from her, and after uh, quitting my old job and becoming the teacher I am now. So, you're saying this affair wasn't a dream, but an Ayakash is doing? That's what I think, yes. It doesn't feel very realistic. It's too outrageous to keep up with. Sure, but if you look around, how realistic things are happening. It's more believable to me that it was a nightmare we all had together. So, Yoita, whose fault are you saying it is? That, I don't know yet. Judging from the fact that the effects have only been on this class, all I can say now is there's a possibility they're here in our class. There's an Ayakashi with me now? Oh, I'd love to speak with him. Don't! Won't they slice you up? If this were a manga, it'd be like you noticed some uh, be like you notice someone had a special aura, or you use some sixth sense. And you can't tell, Mr. Yoinata? As I said, I wasn't already I wasn't originally <sighs> I wasn't originally meant to be a successor. Maybe my sister could have done that, but I can't. I wonder what will happen tomorrow. Probably I'm gonna die again, right? I mean let me just need to protect Rokuru. It's currently unclear what circumstances led to Roku being attacked, though. Is there any way I could assist, Mr. Yoinata? I'll help you out, too. And me, no. Alright, I, I kept saying a K there. How about you gather a book on Yokai? Yokai? Actually, those are referred to Ayakashi, too. Is there a meaning to that? The beings we call Ayakashi have, ex have existed for a long time. We use Ayakashi in a specific way now, but the word far predates that. I think we'll look for creature whose nature is master current phenomena, then go from there. I would have thought you'd be no more knowledgeable since that's your line of work. Your previous job was totally unrelated to all this as well. I never believed that much in anything related to the cult, so I lacked that knowledge. Does Asana know a lot? I do know more than the average person. It's not a lot of story in my head like I'm a walking dictionary, I'm afraid. How convenient that would be, huh? However, I may be of service in finding the proper literature. Hmm. Let's go to the library then. Are you sure? Aren't we having class? The principal of three acts will manage. You're so graceless, Yoichan. <laughs> Kashima still doesn't seem to have digested the situation. Interesting, interesting. Interesting indeed. Interesting, interesting, huh? You need to go search the library. You gonna say no to yourself, bro? Climbing up some awfully creaky steps, we arrived at the school library. It was a snug little room. Hold on, guys. It was a snug little room, but filled with a large variety of books. There were history books, dictionaries, even somewhat dated manga and novels. Are there any books on Ayakashi? Allow me to answer as the library assistant. There are also books in that small storeroom over there, you see? And I believe we'll have better luck. Oh, it's been locked. Going back to the first floor to borrow the key from the staff room would be troublesome. Mino can open it. Hmm. Won't open. If you, need if you need physical labor, it's my time to shine. No, hold on. I can't force it open. If you break the door, we'll be in trouble for sure. Then, um, how about lock picking? 
Call over Shin Tsukimi. Where's Roku? Ah, <sighs> such a thrilling notion. Or maybe this girl. She looks like she knows how to lockpick. Fucking thief. I can. Really? Are you sure you're not lying? I cannot perform it myself, however. However. I bet Roku could, right? Hey now. What kind of life needs somebody to learn lockpicking? No, I can't do it. How do you not know lockpicking? You look like you learned lockpicking, fucking thief. Huh? <laughs> right? You've totally got the personality of someone who could. Consider the full extent of my life, not just what I'm like. Uh, I can do it, I think. Really? That's a surprising skill. Surprising is an understatement. I couldn't have imagined it for a millisecond. <laughs> I was on a show once where the director was looking for realism. He had me practice over and over until I could just do it. It was a while ago though, so I can't be certain. Lock picking. That needs a wire. Mino has one in your treasure collection. Oh my god, Minos, you're so cute. Oh, amazing. Is that an extra dimensional pocket? Wait. Treasure? You sure it's not garbage? You probably shouldn't say that within earshot of Mino. Yeah, you probably get your ass beat. Well then. Oh, hold on. Mr. Noya and Nana, will picking the lot get us in trouble? It's fine in my book. Huh, that's good. Well then, I'll give it a shot. Whoa, look at this guy, so cute. One minute so I can pick a lock. It has a small echoing click. Ouch, my ears. With a twist of the knob, the door opened with a slightly unpleasant creaking sound. I don't know. I just took the phone. A few of the students watching raised their voice in admiration. <sighs> Whoa! It really opened. Is there even a point in security measures? In this case, <laughs> I believe Sir Naki's skills should be applauded. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's a very commendable skill. Well then, now we can scrape together some books. Please give me a moment. Entering the storeroom with a forceful shout, Cessna started pulling books off the shelves in a rap at a rapid pace. He is the library assistant. I'll hold some books too. I'm a library assistant myself, but the duties always fall to her since I'm not around. Let Zero help too. He's super strong. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Sir Walker, won't you assist? Well, you gotta give the right job to the right guy, yeah? I'll go ahead and check these books for info on Ayakashi. I'm the first victim, after all. That's more efficient, right? Huh. Quite an ex convincing excuse coming from you, Sir Rokuru. It's like, bitch. Thanks for the compliment, Susanna chan Fucking bitch. Uh, I'm not really- I'm not really one for reading. I guess I'll help carry. If Flag carries, Mina will carry too. If that's what you girls are doing, I'll handle- <sighs> i handle searching, I guess. Maybe I'll search as well then. That's more my style. That's more my style. The students went dividing, when dividing up duties. Ultimately, the book carrying group and the material searching group were of exactly even size. I'm the teacher, so I don't do anything. I just watch over them. So, how should we look this up? For now. We'll make our judgments based on Roku's cause of death and predicament. You might not want to remember it, but if you give, if you could give a little bit more detail. I went home without making any stops, like usual, and sat at home like usual too. At least, I'm pretty sure I did. And then suddenly, someone's standing in front of me. Next thing I know, I'm in the 2-1 classroom, and even though I changed clothes at home, I was wearing my uniform. Before I could grasp the situation, someone gouged me hard enough to make entrails fly. Yeah, basically instant death. You really something, kid. Mr. Yoinara, I gotta use the restroom. Go ahead. Okay. Yikes. I had all shot off like a rocket before I could even finish speaking. 
Well, sure, to call that an extreme description is an understatement. Why are you even supposed to recall what happened so clearly? Huh, well, it was a mystery to me, too. What happens to people when they die? Then I experienced it. First, my soul left my body. I was looking at me. A near-death experience, or something like it, I suppose. It's not near death if you actually passed away, though. Glad, glad that was a dream. But all the stuff I sent was very dreamy. It didn't hurt. Maybe since they went so hard all my senses died before I could even understand the pain. My ears were ringing the whole time. I couldn't understand anything except that, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> what a thought, huh? Do you not recall who did you in? I can't remember. But I, I, can, I remember, but I can't say it here. Why so unwilling? There's a sequence to things. There's a sequence to things, Yoi chan. Now is not the time. It's amazing you can remember that much. I'm like, what was I dreaming? Just dreaming about all the time myself. So, anyway, that Ayakashi? It's attempt to kill me failed, obviously. Because they messed with the omniscient, omnipotent, and sage Roku chan. What an, un what an exaggerated scale. That's the part where you're supposed to laugh, Yuki chan. We're talking about. We're talking about serious things here. Keep talking about serious stuff. Won't everyone end up like Heidel John? Uh, so then, in what way will this guide us to our Ayakashi? To survive what we just heard, we have capable of kidnapping people and capable of tearing up bodies. So we need only search for an Ayakashi that possesses these two qualities? No, I want you to think thinking of them separately. Very rarely, there are Ayakashi that have incredible power, but in practice, overly powerful abilities tend to destroy their fragile bodies. The two children, he, Riri, Riri and Shinere or something, I forgot, a freshly dead amateur a freshly dead amateur Ayakashi would be blown to smithereens. Calling an Ayakashi an amateur is strange in a lot of ways. The smart ones are capable of, they are, ca are apparently able to kill them. <sighs> the smart ones are able, to, are apparently able to conceal themselves in our world without anyone noticing their unmaturing body. However, most are noticed by the people around them, and they come to talk to us. Well, it's possible not much time has passed since they died. <laughs> Ashley, why would dying and being revived give them mysterious powers anyway? I hear that the hiding power of the soul caused by the attachment to life does something or the other. That isn't exactly a point that you should be so vague on, is it? But if that's the case, that means there are two? At least. It's also rare for Ayokashi to cooperate, but it's not unheard of. Could there be others, I wonder? Personally, I'm more curious about the reversal of time, but at the current stage, who knows if it was actually reversed or what. Since there's a possibility it was a prophetic dream or the like. I... I cannot believe that was a dream. Kashima pounded a desk and shouted to interrupt everything we were saying. Whoa. What's your name again? What are you shouting for all of a sudden? I find it much harder to accept that what I felt then was just fiction. My happiness of being invited off to school the day before, and how I looked after Yuki when she collapsed. The weight of Yuki's head on my legs, and my thought of, why did Rokuru have to die? The way you always treat me, you sure, you sure you didn't think serves him right? Of course not! Sure, Rokuru's not a good person, but he's not a bad person either. Um, I heard a loud voice over here. What's... Whoa, what's wrong, Kashimi-chan? Did Brokuru finally make you cry? Brokuru. Brokuru, you no good. No, 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 it wasn't me, okay? Kashima, you've been quietly enduring this whole time? Fucking idiot. You did seem to have taken this incident the hardest out of everyone. I see. And when you asked about it this morning, I said I'd probably just dream and left it off. I'm sorry. 
Why'd you have to say that, you fucking bitch? I, I... Besides Rokuru, I can't imagine there are any bad people in this class. Looking at everyone here as a class person, I can't think of anything else. You're right. It's unbelievable to imagine there's a villain among us. <sighs> so many fine to have ideals, but in the end, you're just hoping, right? Now hold on, you don't have to phrase it like that. Then would you be okay with it if you died tomorrow, Lao Chan? You say how I kicked it. I didn't die because I wanted to die. Somebody did the deed. Feel free to go into a little more detail. Until nobody can help but believe there's a killer among us. Roku, give it a break. Holy cow, that scared me. Roku! Makes of which I never heard before. I'll borrow this. <laughs> what are you gonna throw him out the window? And I'll apologize in your place. Kashima, La, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing, Zero? Yeah, it's Roku who's saying all that mean junk. He just doesn't know how to use his words very well. Forgive him. You realize you're still agreeing with me that it's wishful thinking, right? You're some idiot yourself, Zero. Why are you so like- why are you like this so much, bro? Kashimicha, Lao Chan, you shouldn't put much hope in other people. I think you'll live more comfortably that way. Ow! What, did he just abruptly turn and hit him into the freaking bookcase? Still holding him in one hand. Zero firmly hit Broker in the back with the other. And just like that, they have vanished among the bookshelf. That was an abrupt change of music. Wow! I've never heard Zero shout like that. Kashima-chan, you okay? Yeah, sorry. Thanks. I must admit, Sir Rokuro's excuse had a bit of logic to it. For when humans interact with each other, they hide that which is inconvenient to them. More importantly, we must quickly find our bearings regarding the Ayakashi. For our time is limited, isn't it, Mr. Yoenara? But teacher, is it okay to leave those two alone? Sir had a real stern look. It's kind of scary. Indeed. I am curious about those two considering how Zero was acting. However, how Kashima and La feel after all, that is also a concern. Like Tina says, if someone's going to die again tomorrow, we need to be quick in searching these materials. Ringing. Might be a needless worry, but zero strength is no length of matter. I'll go take a look. Right, leads me to searching through the books. I headed for the shelves and I'm back to look for the pair. I found them standing side by side in a bright spot formed by bookshelves. Mr. Yoinana, I apologize for shouting so loudly here in the library. That's what you're worried about? It's no, it's no problem. No, that is fine. I was trying to stop Roku myself. So speak here, Roku. What? Were you worried Zero was gonna punch me or something? You wouldn't do a thing like that, Yoichan. Didn't you know that? I thought it was a possibility, but he isn't behaving any different than usual. I just worry about you, Roku, so that's why I came over. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you care. Doesn't seem like you care. Huh? Nah. Roku says, Roku says things such with ill intent, but he does properly think before he acts. Are you sticking up for him? No, I'm trying to put him down. <laughs> Zero never lies, remember? Well, I'll get back to helping. So long. Hey, if you just go back now, it's no problem. If I'm helping out Susanna Chan, right? like you want to punch him. You sure hang out with Roku a lot often, and even go as far as covering for him. What are you, an idiot? Please don't say it like that, Mr. Yoinara. 
At times, I envy Rokuri, and I respect him as well. Can't imagine why. Yeah, he's a fucking dickhead. The thing is, before you get to know Rokuru, he does things like this which put everyone at a distance. So, Mr. Yoinata, I ask you to look calmly, kindly upon Rokuru. You might ask me to explain myself, but it's not that kind of experience. It's not that kind of... It can be easily explained. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll be okay. I keep pressing escape. Going to give up on a student. I'm sure he has his reasons. Oh, it's I'm not going. Sorry, Mr. Yoinata. Right. You treat Rokuru well, well for me. Okay. I'd better go now. I have to find some materials or else. Right. I can't believe how many copies of the same book this place has. Unreturned books were a frequent occurrence, as I'm told. <laughs> well, at any rate, this must should be plenty. Making multiple copies of everything, with the ex expectation of them being stolen. Our principles are absurdly heavy-handed, huh? There's been a sharp decrease in that since I became a library si assistant, however. Like a 1% decrease. Parentheses. Relatively speaking, close parentheses. Huh? But you still need this many, huh? Well, how is progress looking? A bit trouble. We still haven't found anything. You've been looking for a Kashi with qualities resembling capable of abducting and capable of tearing people up, right? I see. Should we help look too? Two then. Ah, how about this? This Albozu. Ribozo. There's also the Yamanda or how about the Suchigomo? Suchigumu. Suchigomo. Suchigumo. Tengu. There's quite a few that can fit when it comes to abducting people. As for attacking people, Kamaitachi? Oh, but they heal the wounded. Wolfman. Do those count as yokai? There's also Nakamata, I guess. Nakamata, I guess. Well, well, anything to narrow it down helps. Finding a link to the events of their life will make it easier to get the specifics. Events of their life? Because Ayakashi have an abnormal amount of attachment to this world, you can expect their life provided a reason for that. For kids around your age, the most common thing would be familial circumstances. Ah. So in other words, wouldn't that be the kind of matter they wouldn't dare talk about? Let me append a bit about Ayakashi. To send Ayakashi to the next world, they have to be made aware of their death. And Ayakashi extremely dislike becoming aware of how they die. Only makes sense, I suppose. I wouldn't say Ayakashi don't feel guilt, but their attachment to life beats out all other emotions. And Ayak Ayakashi confessing of their own accord will more or less never happen. And more troublesome is that sometimes, even they're not aware they're an Ayakashi. Meaning, you have to expose them by force? In a case like this, where no one notices what they are, that you do. Gosh, even when you're alive though, that's all kinds of stuff you wouldn't want others knowing about. Yes, yet it's utter absurdity to say that we would... Yet it's utter absurdity that say that we should hand over our lives for such a reason. Just because time was reversed once does not mean it will happen again tomorrow. In which case, someone's really gonna die. <sighs> um, this is getting really scary all of a sudden. Still, there's no guarantee someone will die tomorrow either. You have to do whatever possible to avoid the worst case scenario. But what do we do now? I'd like to go and check some different materials, personally. Can Mino go too? No. I'm afraid I can't think of a good excuse to take my students outside. But you can't just leave us either, right? Eh, we can manage something. If another teacher asks or whatever, we just need to give him some excuse. Oh yeah, we just saw a prophetic tree. I'd appreciate it if you could, but... We just gotta make a scarecrow that looks just like Mr. Yoinara. Ooh, that may be good. Though we'll be found out if anyone looks too close. With a mob from the boom closet, I believe we can make something convincing. What a <laughs> fucking dickhead. 
True, if we dip it in the living ink, then you shouldn't notice there's a moth at a glance. Very much resemble a moth that closely. Maybe you do, Yoinata. Maybe you do. Well then, I'll hurry out. You get back to the classroom. Understood. I'll keep a close eye on everyone. The principal was walking around on the third floor earlier. It'd be trouble if he sees you and asks what's up. You're right. Maybe you should go during the break after this period. Huh, that does make sense. Getting caught could be really costly. There's only about 10 minutes left. Guess I'll wait. I can't go any further than this. Let's talk, Tina. No, Zero's hard to talk with with Kuro. No, you're not. Okay. Oh, I want to talk to Mino. Oh, Mr. Yoinana, you want to play too? Wasn't my intent to be playing. What were you up to? Reading these books on yokai, even besides their goals, they're just very intriguing. Lots of pictures, fun stuff. They're not manga, you know. Is Mr. Yoinara an Ayakashi too? Nope, senders are different from Ayakashi. You do have a slightly different air from your average hero, Mr. Yoinara. I'm uncertain about how I should interpret that. Interpret that. It means you're half mob, half man. Well, but my grandmother was at times called a demon child. I didn't mean to bring up bad memories. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's getting that response that feels more iffy than anything. But not many heroes of justice take on human forms. I've got no connection with the heroes you're talking about. What does that mean to support? Wait, but Ayakashi don't take human forms either. Maybe she wasn't particularly trying to support me then. Well, she's cute either way. I always took you for a realist, Kashima. That's the stuff. The sword would just snort at stuff. This let's go. The, the sword would just snort at this sort of stuff. What the fuck is that tongue twister? Look, even I've got curiosities and interest. Who doesn't? I even have some degree of interest in this sort of occult folklore. Only has interesting stories, of course. It's not like I believe it at all. Mino believes, cause she sees things. You can see, huh? <laughs> I've heard animals are better than humans at seeing such things. Wait, but Mino's not an animal. Mino, I believe you only came here from middle school, so you don't know much about this area, do you? Hmm? Don't know about the world below. What are you, a god? Hey, so what was Kashima like before? Me? I was no different from now, I think. I've only known you since middle school, middle school, middle school myself, Kashima. Hmm, people who've known me since grade school do tell me I look different. Well, first of all, you're missing the color in one of your eyes. Oh, <laughs> in what sense? It used to be short. My height, I mean. Though my bangs are still short now, since they get in the way. I always figure people like Yuki must have a hard time taking care of their hair. Sometimes I wonder why they don't see a bump all their hair. Right. When you put it that way, I can understand. Mino's bangs get in the way too, but she can't cut them good like Kashima. Then just make one big cut, straighten it out little at a time. Personally, I'm curious about what you used to be like, Mr. Yoinara. Me? Well, I wasn't born here and came here later in life. You see, I used to be a wandering spirit. A spirit. I was an Ayakashi, too. Also, my previous job kept me busy, so I was a workaholic. I also drank alcohol on the weekends. You work hard on teaching, too? Sure do. With you as my class, I'm busy every day. I see. You make it sound like that's a bad thing, that bad thing Mr. Yoinata. And Mr. Yoinata, um, do you ever regret changing? Yeah. Regret? How am I supposed to know? I mean, getting to meet you guys is pretty nice, so. Nah, I always make choices based on what seems right in the moment. I try to avoid regretting it. That's right. 
Yes, it's your path to choose in the moment. Looking ahead when you walk is important. The reason I changed didn't come from myself, but rather had to do with other people. Still, the worst thing to do would be to put the blame on someone else. Feeling troubled? Me no will hear any troubles. No, I like to handle it myself as much as possible. I don't believe it's a good thing to be over-reliant. I feel you're always giving quite an effort, Kashima. And Mino? You are too, Mino. In all sorts of ways. In all sorts of wacky, cute ways, Mino. Look at you. With your not colored in eyes. It's like, you, it's like the artist gave up on one eye. Mm-hmm. That's right. Force to be pushing on by yourself makes it difficult to tell if you're on the right path or not. I bet you have a lot of hardships yourself, Mr. Oinata. Being an, ad being an adult must be tough. Adults are more fragile than you might think. Yep, we crack under the pressure of dating and marriage. After all, things break the longer you keep using them, right? Mr. Oinata, are you breaking down? Nah, I'm okay. But I need to care take care to periodically examine myself so that doesn't happen. You see? I like to take off my head and put it under a microscope to see if I've grown any new hairs. Indeed. Humans need maintenance or else they'll fall, they'll fall apart. Mino will maintain ants too. Oh, I feel like Mino's already gotten one foot on a runaway express train. You're so cute, Mino. Riku and Roku. Interesting. Hmm? What's up, Yoichan? Oh, I was just curious what you two were talking about. We were talking about how ugly you look. You look like a fucking moppy loser. Well, I was asking him about earlier. And like I was saying, nothing fun happened or anything. Whether you did anything fun or not is not what I was asking. You look so seriously, Riko-chan. Isn't it better to do fun stuff in life? If making people feel terrible is your idea of fun time, I reserve the right to despise it. <laughs> oh man. That's a shame, because I don't hate you, Riko-chan. But I take it you don't like me either. Oops, you got me. If you keep that nonsense up, nonsense up even Zero's good graces will run out someday. Hey, that bridge will burn when we get to it. <sighs> I truly can't understand why you two get along. I can't figure it out either. Why you and Karuta-chan get along, that is. True. I believe Karuta only recently transferred here in first gear. I mean, you can't just ask a thing like that. What can I say? Karuta and I, we suit each other as gay lovers. <laughs> and that's what I'll say about me and Zero too. After what I saw earlier, it's hard to just agree with that. Did you two fight? Hmm. It's mostly just Zero getting mad at me. I never really- Ouch! I've never really had any complaints about Zero myself. Must be rough for Zero. Almost makes me pity him. Yeah, I gotta. Uh, yeah, I gotta admit, he's a real softy. I suppose I have some real feelings about Karuta though. Say, Yocha, what do you think of these sorts of inescapable relationships? Well, that was fun, Yocha. Indescribable. Couldn't even answer. I'm a virgin. I don't know what you're talking about. Not sure what to say. They're just hard to describe. Yeesh, I'm a little disappointed in you, Yoichan. Don't say that. Such complex relationships are hard to describe in detail if you just bring the question on someone. Cut the thing, man. Have you even got friends, Yoichan? That's a rude question. You got people I go drinking with. Though, since you're becoming a, te a teacher, that's gotten more uncommon. Huh? So you got no friends here? Poor you. What about the other teachers? They keep their distance, oddly. Or maybe they're concerned for me. Yeah, you sure you do give unapproachable as a first impression, Yoichan. chan He's right. No talking with you like this. You just strike me as a worn-out middle-aged guy. Damn. That's a bad impression in its own way. But still, like you said earlier, Karuta and I have only been friends starting in middle school. It hasn't really been long enough to say our relationship is inescapable. Right, that's true. But Kuruta was quick to fit in. There's only a there's only a handful of kids his age. And many of the people here are kind, with some exceptions. 
looking at you. There's some cruel kids, too. Come to think of it, you only transferred in the middle of grade school, didn't you, Rokuru? Yep, in fifth grade. I used to bully all the kids. Did you now? Good job fitting in. He seemed like a quiet type at first, and at some point he started to talk. No, rather, it's like he was chanting incantations of some sort. Kill a dirty fourth graders or something. Okay, I don't know. Hey now, that was just proof we, that we were getting along. Think of me that way. You know, the class as a whole isn't is in inescapable relationships. We're a tight knit community. I see. We are not. I would abandon you guys the first chance I get. All told, the two of them have a lot to say about it, but they don't seem to think badly of each other. Sick. Yay, Naki. Hey, it's Mr. Yoinana. What's up? Well, I've had time until I can leave, so I just thought I'd take it easy. Uh-huh. Well, I was just talking with Naki here. Yep, nothing interesting, though. That lock picking of yours was pretty amazing, though. Um, uh, so, like, do you do your own stunts? Uh, uh, I'll do a certain level of action, but not anything that could really hurt. So you do refuse in that case? Yeah, I hate not being able to attend school more than anything. Even still, we haven't been able to hang out as much as old times. What, kings th what, what kicked things off for you? An audition? Nah, I was scouted. Well, I was out somewhere a bit far from here. Look at this boy. So kind of prim and proper. Wow, amazing. Why are you working so hard? I'm over here like, this food's tasty. <laughs> I'd still call that happiness. I've been so busy lately. Often I'd have to get by on, like... A sandwich from a convenience store. Uh huh. Is that right? That'd be rough for me. Well, once this case is settled, let's all go out for something tasty. Kurutakun, I'm guessing your recommendation would be a temporary place again. Nope, it's Asura Soba. I mean, hey, they've added a bunch of them in the past few years. Do you have any favorite foods, Naki? Eh? Me? Uh, I'm not picky. Is there anything I especially like? Maybe strawberries? Sounds like the answer an idol would give. Uh, about the most I can do for it. You know, just eat a bunch of strawberries, so... Oh, then maybe you should get a giant parfait at a cafe. Do they make giant cafe parfaits? Yeah, they're super huge. The other day, it took five of us boys working together to take one down. I bet Zero can eat plenty though. Nah, well, with sweets, it's bad to ingest too much at once. <laughs> Am I gonna be okay after that? <laughs> sure, the flavor was good. Makes you wanna eat till you drop. I was wondering what kinds of fun could be had in a rural town, but sounds like you do plenty. No karaoke or bowling or anything though. As long as it has a strange station, I think it's fine. Good point. Kuro de Kun, do you have any dreams for your future? <sighs> My old man always pesters me to inherit the family business. I don't see it happening though. I see. I'm too immature to resist our parents still. Oh yeah, what are we how what about Mr. Yoinara? You know, dreams and stuff. My dreams. Dreams. I'd like to leave you, brats. I mean, I've got my hands full just watching you guys. Might be hard to call it a dream, but maybe my goal is to master the job I'm doing now. Maybe. <laughs> what a nice thing to say. Yeah, I'd like to keep taking lessons from you too, teacher. Let's see, if I weren't being locked in by my family, I might aspire to being a teacher myself. I see, I can generally accomplish anything I find, so... I think he'd be highly valued here. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> there could definitely stand to be a few more teachers around here, yeah. There's a lot to there's a lot to the job. As physically and mentally demanding. I respect those who do it myself. Maybe Rico's better at teaching though. 
maybe the best of us? Well, but I have to say that Mr. Yoi not as great as well. He always, he always gets to the gist of things for me. Oh, is that what you're doing when you stay after class? It's probably just my nature, but I've always sought efficiency. Wow, can you cook too? I'm a man, not a woman. There's this handy thing they call meal delivery these days. Okay, say no more. Man, really? There sure are a lot of great restaurants around here. It makes you want to eat real bad. I'm just talking about food non-stop. Granted, Naki's diet's cause for concern. La and Yuki. Two girl voices, fuck. Hmm, Mr. Yoinana. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to intrude on anything. Yeah, it's talking about boys. There's just some time until class is over, so I thought we could talk. Would you consider yourself able to come into a girl's conversation, Yoichan? Can't say I'm confident about that. <laughs> Even if you weren't confident enough to say yes, that'd be pretty startling. It's amazing how you never run other things to talk about, La. Really? I just read magazines and watch TV. I come across lots of things I want to talk about with people. There's lots of places here that seem to have tasty food. You got that right. Even though a bunch of people haven't left since that incident. Makes me wonder how they keep their businesses running. Yeah, well, the streets of Ron Kanta and Bashi are still busy. Plus, it's just fewer, it's just fewer people. There's still buses and trains, so it's not that big a hindrance to people's livelihood, I guess. More and more stores are closing, though. Huh. I wonder if there's a way things will get busy here again. But I like it when there's not so many people. It helps me relax. I guess there's no one else around me, chan I can play lots with you and everyone else. So sweet. Yuki! I'm not gay. Ah, uh, yeah, you're so right. I like you too, Yuki. Uh, uh, huh. Sure enough, it's extremely difficult to intrude on this conversation. I will do something. I will do something as manly as I can. Strategically retreat. Is there anyone you like, Mr. Yoinana? Huh? Ooh, I'm kind of curious. Like Konochan's real, really pretty, right? Kono Hazuki, Hazuku, the music teacher. I mean, she is, and a good teacher too. But, it's really what I think. I don't especially feel anything. Plus, she might be afraid of me. Why? Uh, yeah, you do seem to be feared by most people but us. But if you think about it, you can study in your pretty athletic Yoichan. Yeah, sure. As athletic as a man in studies can be. A dependable guy like you should be more popular if you'd like. Are you sure it isn't because you don't smile much? It's probably because he doesn't smile much, you're right. Ah, that's the ticket. See, even she agrees. You gotta do like this. Smile, Yoicha. Oh, this is too... I wanna see this disastrous result. Mm, it's kinda... Well, it's better than usual, I think. Not what I was thinking. I can't even pull off an insincere smile, right? I am useless. Do I really, really smile that little? Why? What? Are you not actually aware of it? Even when you're mad, you don't feel very mad, Yoinara. Mr. Yoinara. Yes, well, as a teacher, isn't that proper? Now, now, when you're like, quietly angry, that's actually scarier. Then again, like, it seems people in our generation, or at least our class, aren't that bothered by it. Wonder if that's the reason it keeps reoccurring. Hmm, maybe there are just a lot of us who are kind of self-centered. Self-centered? Everyone has a clear idea of their opinions and what they like to do. I might be a bit jealous. Jealous enough, jealous enough to kill Rokuru? Just you don't, Yuki. I want to sleep forever. 
There's a one-way ticket for that. You just have to find yourself your murderer or the Yayakashi. Yeah, um, that's not a subject we can talk out. Well, even if they cause some trouble, our classmates aren't bad kids. Except Tina, I mean bitch. Probably. I consider them to be vicious even if they lack ill intent. Were you mischievous as a kid, Yoichan? My gr my grandmother was a harsh person, so I was obedient to avoid her wrath. Hmm. <laughs> then maybe being scary when you're angry is effective. Then again, when you get scary, even I think it's a little much. Hmm. I just want other people I just want people other than us to know you're a good guy, Yoichan. It's never felt like a big deal to me. You don't need to worry about it. But I wanna, just like, for the sake of my own feelings? I can't stomach people being afraid of you just because of what's on the surface. Wow, you're like the model student. You could probably replace Kashima, whatever her face is, as the club, the class person. I've met, I've made plenty happy, I've made, I've made plenty happy just by the fact you feel that way. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Looks like, yeah, that chan still can't accept it. First things first, I'm surprised she trusts me that much. Yeah, she's really a concern for you, Mr. Yoinata. Because you're a good teacher. You don't intrude on things that she doesn't want brought up. But that's... Well, okay, fine. Isn't that like common sense? I can't wait to be insulted like 10 times in this fucking conversation. Oh, if it isn't Professor Yoinata. This is an and Tina. That's a rare combination. Oh, I believe us to have a considerable companionship. Indeed, I, I suspect you would say that no matter who I was with, Mr. Yoinata. Well, if you're chatting it up with Yoroku, I think there'd be a cataclysm on the horizon or something. I must agree with you there. Hmm. If you ask me, that might be a case of disliking those who remind you of yourself. And I will not deny that either. Humans are strange creatures, often fighting with others, one another due to none other than their own resemblance. I want to see her gloves. You see, like, you see, like you've had a sudden revelation, Tina. Well, I, I also believe you view things in a more objective way than the others. I could say the same of Sir Rogaru. It's not like you, it's like you're always taking a step back to observe the full picture. No. Sir Rokuro's proficiency and then proceeding is then proceeding to make attacks on people. He thinks one's mouth could enter sleep spot. Such sarcasm directed at so many people. I can respect it, in a way. I think you're no slouch yourself. Yes, but, but I believe you couldn't do that without knowing what kind of person you're dealing with. I'm envious, I'm envious as can be of that supreme level of insight. Come to think of it, Werewolf is a game that places emphasis on that. Indeed, and such is why Sir Rokuru and Lady Tina were so powerful. They're the highest of deceivers. They are thieves, lying thieves. There were also numerous players then that were all too figured. That were all too easy, easy to figure out. Madame Kashima is quite emotional, and Sir Zero may appear hard to read, but his exp expressions tell all. Even Ma Madame Sasena tends to show her to show with her face when she's feeling tense. So Rokuru never trusts anyone to begin with, almost as if he's giving up on giving up on relating with others. Because something have happened regarding your own relationship, Mr. Yoinata? Hmm, what makes you think that? You intentionally or no. I think unconsciously unconsciously. It appears as if you're holding back your expressions or emotion. And from the pause in your last statement, I wonder if you aren't someone aware. Well, would you look at that? Where can one buy such a keen eye? It may be called my pedigree, so I must put on the perfect look in my dealings with other people. Uh, I'm good at investigating, but it's hard to know how to teach myself such powers of conjecture. 
Humans aren't creatures one can define and divide into some number of categories, after all. I suppose one should start by knowing their own self well, before they turn to others. Your own, your own self? Well, indeed. So, Mr. Yoinara, could I ask you to offer your services as a teacher? When one confronts themselves, where should they be looking, do you think? The part you dislike. <laughs> so you're also acquainted? Hmm. I do believe that she, that means she's complimenting you. How rare. Find many things you dislike about yourself. This is what father told me. He said to even treat others as mirrors and know yourself as best as you can. I get it. That must be a cause in disliking those similar to you too. It strengthens one's mind the longer you look at yourself. It does seem like your spirit would be the first thing to give in. And when you grow accustomed to appearing within your own depths, you will naturally start to see what others are hiding and what they dislike. For people's very nature is reside in those depths. I see. I've learned a lot. Haven't you, Mr. Yoinara? Uh, I mean, might prove necessary for the situation, but I don't particularly care. Ah, that's right. Find me a, if I might append something to my observations about Mr. Yoinara earlier, I might even think that he's given up on himself. Given up, you say? Sorry, but you got that wrong. I'm more willing to resign myself than you think. Ah, that's too bad. Even I have a ways to go, perhaps. Incidentally, I wasn't aware that my tenseness sewn on my face. Indeed, but it is difficult to be aware of actions you do subconsciously or on instinct. That word such to me. Her gloves, like, don't even wrap around, like, all the way down to her. whatever it's called. Like, they don't f fully cover her hand. It bothers me a lot. What words will stimulate your death in what situations? Reaffirm that, and werewolf is a piece of cake. I get it. I've learned much from this. Next time I take, the next time, now the next time I play werewolf, I'll polarize, scandalize, and mesmerize. Scandalizing really necessary. You make a good point. <laughs> I look forward to the next time we can contend, Madam Susanna. Yes, absolutely. I have my honor to uphold, and so I refuse to lose in a game of my own suggestion. Was it you who spread the games, Susanna? I've brought, I've brought in pretty much all the tabletop games you see at school. There are many others, so I encourage you, I encourage you to try them yourself. You aren't too busy during summer break, are you? When I'm in the classroom, maybe. Hmm. Then I will speak to you then. You keep playing games like Werewolf. I could see myself getting tired out by all the suspicion. And actually, wasn't bringing games into school supposed to be banned? Breaking the school rules, huh? And you're part of the library assistance club or whatever. Ooh, okay, that's the end of this episode. Holy shit, that was long. That was long. Really long. Really, really, really long. Well then. To the title. Okay. That was a nice episode of Ayakashi Akashi. It's already 11, so... <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,